kind of holding it. Hi YouTube, this is Trudy. Uh, today I weighed 311 pounds. I've been kind of going back between 308 and 311. I, uh, before I went into surgery, I, I went in at, uh, 287, and I, I came back at 282. So he's lost, like, five pounds. I lost about five pounds. Um, every, everything went okay. Except for you bleed. It, ex except for I, I bled a little bit, and they clamped it off, no big deal. Been up and walking. I, I've been up and walking. I, I, I was up and walking probably about... See, Virginia, he's been wearing his pedometer on his little happy pouch. Yeah. I, I, I was up and walking probably about four hours after surgery. Yeah, he did about four or five laps at that time. I, I did four laps the first time when, when I was walking, and I did seven laps the second time, and 14 the last time. Um, he heightened sentences. Oh yeah, the surgery heightens sense, senses. I <clears throat> we don't know if you guys have ever had that, but he's like his sense of smell and his sense of hearing and not so much taste. Not so much taste. <clears throat> yeah, but taste smell and same. hearing, he it seems to have increased a lot for him. So we're wondering if any of you've had that. Yeah, it, it like kicked everything into overdrive. Um. I, I experienced good things at the hospital. You know, people were friendly. Pe 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 people were friendlier during um, during uh, ICU or whatever she called it. I can't remember. Pack you. Pack you. They were friendlier there. But once once we got in the Main Street Hospital, you know, I, I, I don't know if we were under full moon, but people were lazy and crabby. Um, they, they brought one guy in, into our uh, regular room about... A few a few hours after we got in there, at, at twelve in the morning, and they I, I guess they were mad because two people got brought up from uh, whatever you call it, pack you, pack you at the same time, and I guess they were real cranky because they had to work or something. But they uh, one, one of them kicked <laughs> kicked my bedside table over towards me, s smacked me in the arm with it. Smack me in the arm with it. Didn't even apologize or anything. Now, mind you, that is also where they put IV. Tried to put an IV in and it to begin with. But it wasn't that bruised. It wasn't that bruised, and didn't even apologize. You just kept on going about what he was doing. You know, I went, ow, you know. And they weren't very attentive. You asked for pain drugs, and it yeah. took them 20 minutes to get it to him. Uh, he asked for earplugs the night before. Didn't get them until the next morning when I made them give them to him. I, I could have gone home yesterday, but um, I, I, I'd asked for pain drugs, and it took him 20 minutes to get to me. And by then, my surgeon walks in, Dr. Medlin, and, and he sees he sees that I'm in pain. He says, no, you're staying another day. Yeah, it's all right, though. Yeah, they, they had a 77-year-old man, the man who, who came in at 12 in the morning, and uh, there's was, there was there three people sitting in the hall, you know, bull bullshitting, and he, he, he wakes up after uh, getting some... Uh, um, Maybe that's why God had us stay. We had to stay for Mr. Z. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, you know, he, he, he had some prostate stuff done, and he had, he had some uh, tissue removed on his anus. And yeah, he was in a lot of pain. He was in a lot of pain, and he woke up in a lot of pain, and he, he's yelling for, for somebody, and there's three guys sitting in the hall doing nothing. Yeah, it's not like they were busy. I mean, and, and I, I mean like, there were some times that you asked for help, and they were busy, yeah. but... Overall, I, I have mean, never, was... ever, ever seen such poor service in my life. And they're not always like that. I, I, mean, I don't know why. As, as like I that. said, it must have been a full moon, bad coffee. I don't know. Yeah, we, we complained, and when, we'll make a formal complaint later. But, yeah. Um, after the after the one incident with the payments, though, they were, they oh, were yeah. on you. Pretty quick. Oh, as soon yeah. as he'd ask for them, they would show up pretty quick. Other than the, just when we were discharging, she yeah. had her sweet ass time getting a deal. But it's much better to be home. We he got to sleep and we slept for four hours and best four hours sleep I've had. I, I didn't slept in two days before that. <clears throat> so, needless to say, I went out and got my own earplugs so that way I have them for when I go uh, here in a couple weeks. He's doing really good. Yeah, I got I got my nifty little pain ball here and. And uh, thank you so much for the, the pedometer. It, you know, it, 
came it came in handy wonderfully. And yeah, I got to prove to the doctor that we were actually up and walking. We walked quite a bit. Oh yeah, we he walked like almost a mile and a half yesterday, which was pretty good. Um, granted, he had a gas bubble stuck, so it was the only way to get rid of it. But oh yeah, that that was miserable. Mm -hmm. I I never experienced anything like that. It, at one time when when I woke up, I woke up shaking and my heart rate was up and. And I thought I was literally having a heart attack. You know, I, I'd heard people say, you know, when, when, when they had gas stuck, it felt like they were having a heart attack. Well, I am, I'm a believer. But after you passed that bubble, you were. Oh, yeah, I was fine better. after that. I was, that was just the most mis miserable thing I've experienced. He hasn't pooped yet, so he has, he's been told to drink some milk of magnesia and see if that helps any. Um, other than that, I think you're doing relatively well. Yeah. He was afraid of the stairs at first, but he mastered those all right. Yeah. Maybe after he's healed a little bit, we'll we'll uh, show all the newbies the owies. Yeah. Anyway, um. Other than that, I don't ev know. yeah, everything's fine. Uh, um. He's thanks. Only, thanks. He's, he's lucky if he gets about twenty ounces of liquid in. Um, he's pushing as much as he can, but. Yeah, I, I was surprised. I took, you know, three or four sips off a, a four-ounce glass of uh, Carnation Instant Breakfast and, uh, like, two two or three little nibbles off uh, some, some jello. Uh, mint jello, and that was, that was it. I'm full. Mint jello. Lime jello. Lime jello. Lime jello. Anyway, um, yeah, and, and I'm full. Yeah, that's the only thing we forgot to get you is, like, uh, popsicles, but we'll get you yeah, that we'll get other some popsicles later. Tomorrow. We went shopping. Yeah, I remember before surgery, remember we thought, you know, yeah. we only had to take in the two bottles, and we thought that'd be a piece of cake to take yeah. in that two bottles, and now it's like a struggle. He. Yeah, I, I just, it amazes me, what, once it's in there, it sits there for a while, then it, then it takes like, I don't know, two, three minutes to drain down, and it's, it's just awkward. It's, it's like someone flushing a toilet. You know, oh, it goes down. Questions that the YouTubers might be able to answer for you. Um, what what new things did you guys go through when when you first got out? You know, is there some weird stuff I should expect? Um, I haven't had any problems with uh, anything. I can't. I, I really can't uh, stomach. Yeah, he's pretty much got an iron gut. He's not been queasy at all. To any, not even on the lower tab or nothing. He, he's been fine. Uh, other than the one incident with the pain, yeah, was it? He hasn't had any of that. Um, other than having the catheter removed, that was. He said that was worse than the whole procedure. Yeah, put together. that hurt more than er everything. Um. Other than that, he, I, heck, he crawls across our bed and has no problem. Can't yeah. sleep on his side yet, though. He's not ready. No, not ready I, for I, that. I tried to attempt that, and that was. Just it was, it was just a little pain there. And it, and I, 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 I don't want to shift anything around too much and have something go wrong, so. <laughs> anyway, I thank you, YouTube. And again, thank you, Virginia, for the pedometers. I am wearing yeah. mine. We will... Um, you, you are awesome. We will show our stats tomorrow um, for the walking buddies, the little bit we have. Um, we're going to go walk here in a little bit. He's going to take his pain meds, I think, yeah. pretty soon. Starting to feel something. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we won't take it yet. But, um, alright. So, talk to you later. Bye! Bye!